everybody and welcome to today's collective worship entitled Receive the Holy Spirit. Now in our last video we learned that Jesus promised his disciples that he would send them a special helper after he went back to heaven. This week we're celebrating Pentecost when the disciples received the gift of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to show you a video here and that the Holy Spirit is sometimes called a helper and this film is about a little girl who received help. Wow, today has been the most amazing day. Let me tell you all about it. My name is Sarah and this was my Saturday. It started when Grandad woke up from his morning nap. He looked at his old pocket watch and said, Oh, goodness me, is that the time? Do you know what time it is, Sarah? I said, I don't know how to tell the time. The hands on the clock just confused me. So Grandad picked me up, sat me on his lap and explained all about the big hand and the little hand and the tick-tock second hand that goes round and round. It had never made sense to me before, but Grandad was so kind and welcoming, he made it seem easy. Grandad asked again, Do you know what time it is, Sarah? I looked at his watch, at the big hand and the little hand, and said proudly, It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Grandad said, Exactly, which means it's biscuit time. Now I can be like Grandad and tell the time. Then, later on, Mum was putting on her trainers to go out to walk the dog and I asked if I could come too. Mum said, of course, put your new trainers on then. And I said, Mum, I really like my new trainers, but the laces are all fiddly. I miss my old Velcro trainers. They were easy to put on. So Mum sat next to me on the doorstep. She'd been busy getting the dog ready, but suddenly she was really calm and peaceful and patiently showed me how to thread one lace over the other, make a loop and pull it through. Now I can be like mum and tie my own shoelaces. Then later on I was outside when I fell off my bike and knocked into Ted, my older brother. Ow, sorry Ted, I didn't mean to bump you. I'm rubbish at riding my bike now Dad's taking the stabilisers off. I just can't do it anymore. Ted can be grumpy sometimes. But he was really kind and picked me up off the floor. You're not rubbish, he said. It just takes practice. When I was your age, it took me ages to learn to ride my bike without stabilizers. Do you want me to help you? So Ted held the back of my bike whilst I pedaled. It was really tricky to keep my balance, but Ted kept encouraging me to keep going and he never minded if I bumped him or fell off. Eventually, I managed to ride the whole driveway without falling off. I'm not there quite yet, but I know that with Ted's help, I'll be like him and ride my bike without stabilizers. What a day. I'm going to remember it as Sarah's Super Saturday. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a few questions on the video we have just watched. So what three things did Sarah learn how to do? Have a quick think, perhaps you could discuss it with the people near you. Well, she learned how to tell the time, tie her shoelaces and ride a bike without stabilisers. Quite impressive. Next question, who helped Sarah learn how to do these things? Pause the video now. Hopefully you said her granddad helped her to tell the time, her mum helped her to tie the shoelaces, and her older brother Ted helped her to ride her bike. How would you describe the people that helped Sarah? Have a quick think, perhaps you could pause the video now. What 
that you might have said they were welcoming, they were peaceful, they were forgiving, they were encouraging, they were loving, they were kind. Lots and lots of possible answers. Sarah couldn't tell the time, tie her shoelaces or ride her bike without stabilizers. But with help, she learned how. Grandad helped her be like him in telling the time. Mum helped her be like her in tying her shoelaces. And Ted helped her to be like him in riding a bike. Sarah was helped to be like others and do the things they do. Just like the Holy Spirit helps us to be like Jesus and do the things he does. I'm now going to show you a short video. So here we go. It was the first day of the week and that evening Jesus' disciples were all together. The doors were locked because they were afraid of the Jews. Then, although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them. He said, Peace be with you, and showed them the wounds in his hands and his side which the nails had made. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you. Then Jesus told his disciples to act like him, to follow his example. After he said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Okay. So it can be hard to understand what the Holy Spirit is. And often we can understand something better by looking at what it does. So we've got some chocolate mix for a milkshake and we have a glass of milk here. Now we have to read the instructions on the tin to realise how to make the chocolate milkshake and mix it up. Well. It's a loose link, but the Holy Spirit is in all of us because God sent him like the powder in the milk. For this relationship to work, we have to keep his commandments. So we have to follow instructions, just like we would if we were making ourselves a milkshake. And make the Holy Spirit part of our life, so we have to mix it in mix all that chocolate mix into the milk and if we do this we will allow the Holy Spirit to help us be like Jesus and do good things in the world. So there are some good heartwarming things happening in the world right now. You might recognise this man. Does anyone know who he is? Well, well done if you said Captain Tom Moore. Now he celebrated his 100th birthday by walking around his garden and raising over £32 million for the NHS. Okay, and he did this um, on the 30th of April was when he finished it. And the reason I remember that is because it was also my birthday. Now, inspired by Captain Tom Moore, you might have seen this young man. Does anyone recognise him? Perhaps you even know his name. Well, this boy is Tobias Weller and he's nine years old and he suffers from cerebral palsy. And he's walking a marathon on his streets. So that's 26 miles and it will take him nearly two months to complete. 
Local communities have rallied to support food banks and set up food delivery schemes to help the vulnerable and elderly who are self-isolating. Neighbours have got to know each other better, even sharing socially distant VE Day celebrations. Please can you close your eyes? Just like the way Sarah's family helped her, the Holy Spirit is welcoming, peaceful, loving, encouraging and kind. Whenever we are wondering or whenever we are welcoming, peaceful, forgiving, encouraging, loving or kind, we can share that this is the Holy Spirit working in us. Let's think about how the Holy Spirit is inviting us to act today. Maybe we could share what we have. Forgive someone we are annoyed with. Or reach out to someone who might be feeling a little bit lonely. Come Spirit of God Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. That concludes the end of our collective worship today. Have a lovely day and welcome the Holy Spirit in your hearts.